Hello, here we are with an unboxing of the HTC Rhyme, and this is in the sort of aqua blue grey clear water colour. So the HTC Rhyme, or the S510B as it's otherwise known, is a new device from HTC which is designed more for women. Um, apparently it's been designed by women for women, that's not to say men can't use it, but the design ethos is more for women. So it's got a one gig processor, we got four gig of internal storage, we've got the Android operating system with HTC Sense, comes in at about 130 grams, 3.7 inch touchscreen display, internal GPS, 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, DLNA, 5 megapixel camera with 720p video recording, front facing camera, micro SD card slot. So all the standard things you'd expect and it's based very much on the HTC Desire S and the Desire family, albeit that it's named the Rhyme. So quite different packaging here. So we've got a pull cord uh, that matches the color of the actual device itself. And then we reveal what's in the box. So here is the device itself. We'll come back to that in just a moment. So in the patching, which again is all color coded, one of the first things we've got is this desktop dock. Really unusual sort of design um, here. So we've got the recess for the actual device itself. We've got HTC embossed here. We've got nothing more than three small connectors which will be used for charging the device. It's angled, so it sits on a desktop like so, or on a bedside table or something like that. On the back, we've got a micro USB port, so you connect your mains power into there, or if you want to connect it to a computer, you connect your cable there. On the bottom, We've got a soft touch rubber feel to stop it slipping on a desktop too much. And then, not sure how well it picks up on the camera, the sides of this cradle are textured. There's like a fabric over the edge, which gives it a real premium quality feel. Um, and this is perhaps where the female piece comes out a bit more that you know, more attention to detail and what have you. So that's the actual dock. We've then got in here the standard user guide information and what have you. We've then got a leather pouch with the HTC logo on it. There at the front, we've got the stitching around the side. So fairly standard sort of pouch to give it some form of protection. We've then got a three pin UK mains adapter. And on the top of it, it's got a USB port for connecting in the USB cable for charging. So here is the USB cable. You connect that into the top of the three pin mains adapter. And on the other end, you've got the micro USB port which connects either to the Rhyme itself or to the dock for charging or data transfer. We've then got this which we'll come back to again in a minute but this is a charm which connects to the device through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and illuminates when the device has got a message or what have you. It's designed for women to go in the handbag so the charm can hang outside of the handbag and illuminate so they can easily see it. And then we've got a set of stereo headphones with inline controls, in-ear style, and they're the new flat cable design that we're now seeing from a lot of manufacturers. So that's everything that you get in the box. Let's bring the device in. And here it is. So on the front here, we've got the 3.7 inch touchscreen display. We've got touch sensitive navigation buttons at the bottom, including the home menu back and search key. 
We've got a front-facing VGA camera. On the bottom, we've got a microphone. On the side, we've got the volume rocker up and down. On the top, we've got the power and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the other side, we've then got a cover over the micro USB port for charging and data transfer. Then on the back, we've got the five megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash. We've got the loudspeaker. We've got three little pins here, which correlate with the dock. So when in the dock like so, that's how the device actually charges. And then we've got this metal piece across here with the HTC logo embossed um, there as well. So we should be able to remove the back cover. And under here we've got the SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot as well. You can actually see we've got an eight gigabyte micro SD card installed. The battery is actually internal there. You cannot remove that yourself. That has to be done back at factory, but there should be no reason that you need to um, remove that. So let's pop the back cover on and here we go. So we'll just quickly go through the setup. So just booting into the Android system here. And this is where you should get a fairly similar experience to every other Android device on the market. But you do of course have HTC Sense and there has been some additional customization for women again on here. So we've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, we've talked about the 3.7 inch touchscreen. Um, you've got the 3G connectivity, micro SD card, slot as well. You've got the 8 gig micro SD card that comes provided as well. You've got the camera, 720p video recording. Um, there's a 1600 milliamp hour battery in here. Um, so it's a pretty good device all round and it comes in a variety of colours although at clove.co.uk we are stocking just the clear watercolour as can be seen here. This is perhaps the uh, more neutral of the colours. There is sort of like a, a plum colour um, which is much more vivid. So you've got the HTC Sense interface here, but what you can see most importantly is the interface has changed a little bit here in terms of some of the icons and what have you. So we can click into the camera here. Um, and we've got usual sort of camera controls. We've got effects and what have you got your messages. So just slightly different icons for uh, the users to access. For those of you who are interested, just show you about the phone. So software is Android 2.3.5. It's got HTC Sense version 3.5. So it's fairly up to date. It's not ice cream sandwich, but um, for most people, they're familiar with Android 2.3. Anyhow, let's look at the language options. So we've got a few of the key languages, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Polish. But we can then go into international keyboards and get a little bit more in terms of options if you wish. So we've got Russian and Chinese characters and what have you as well. There is no Arabic on here. So we mentioned one of the other unique features about the Rhyme is this, the charm. Now, what this does is connect to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the device, clips in like so, and you've got this cable. And the idea is your phone sits in your bag, the cable then allows you to have some distance between the phone and the charm. And this then hangs outside your bag and it's got a 
little clip here which can clip onto your bag as well. And this will then illuminate when you get a message or a missed call or something. And you can customize this within the settings menu. So if we go here to settings and you see we've got charm. If you click that, you've then got the options. So you can have it to light up when messages are received or light up when the phone calls uh, are missed calls. So you can opt in or out of either of these. And then what this will do is illuminate so you can easily see whether you've got an incoming call, a message or what have you. So that's a quick overview and tour of the HTC Rhyme.